Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Fake Grand Order video. What are we going to talk about today? Well, there are actual other summon banners coming out because there's a commemorative limited sermon daily pickup summon coming up, which should be starting today. There is a uh, ton of units on it, as you can see here. So I'm going to be focusing on basically two. The one that's going to be here for today when the video releases, and then the one that's going to be here uh, tomorrow. And that's the way I'm going to do it. That way it should be slightly easier and slightly better to, com to consume. I tried to do it as quickly as possible in one big video and it still came out pretty uh, too big for my liking. So that's what we're going to be doing. So, I'm going to be going over these units. Um, should you be summoning on this? I think the answer is typically no. If you don't know, this is a commemorative, uh, commemorative limited servant daily pickup. It goes from the 9th to the 17th, and then they most recently released something that said like, yo, get this many social media whatevers by the 17th. So that kind of just tells you uh, 17th is when summer's coming up. And summer this year is um, very good. It is <laughs> summer, Scotty, it is summer, Lady Avalon slash Proto Merlin, and it is summer um, Abuki. So you do, all three of them are very killer. So for the most part, I really don't think you should be summoning on these banners. But if you're someone who is curious about these units and you want to hear about them, I will tell you about them and I will do my due service on that. Plus, it's always good to kind of look at some of these units and kind of see where they currently stand and stuff like that. So let's get right into it. We're going to start with Shiki. Because the two units that are going to be coming for um, this year are going to be Shiki and then it's going to be Caster Nero. So we're going to start with Shiki. Uh, Shiki, um, as you can see here, she is a Saber. She has one quick, two arts, two buster, four hits on quick, two hits on arts, one hit on buster, and four hits on extra. Her first skill, which is not yet received here, but it's going to be received pretty soon, upgrades after the strength in three, replaces Mystic Eyes of Death Perception C, Morningstar, um, it is called Morningstar C, ignores invincibility for three turns, increases own arts performance for three turns, and then reduces all enemies' instant kill resistance for three turns. The arts up 40%, and the death resistance is 100%, and the cooldown is five. Um, her second skill is Unyo B, increases own attack for 3 turns, increases own debuff, mental debuff resistance for 3 turns, the attack up is 25% and the debuff resistance is 36% because she's a really funky old unit so they have weird, <laughs> they have weird percentages, cooldown is 5, her third skill is the Yin Yang A+, charges own MP gauge, recovers 1 ally's HP and then reduces 1 ally's MP gauge by 10%, and... There we go. Uh, her passive skills are Magic Resistance A, Independent Action C, and a Connection to the Root A. I believe of these skills, first one is the only one that is, uh, this is going to be basically this version of the skill. I forgot to mention that at the start. Uh, it's going to be this version of the skill, which is Mystic Eyes of Death Perception C, ignores invincibility for one turn, increases own arts performance for one turn, then reduces all instant kill resistance for one turn. The damage is the same, and it's still 80%, and it's still cooldown of 5, but now it's all one turn. Uh, and this should show up um, during her third strengthening, but I want to save this to talk about a little bit later, I think, if I remember right. Yeah, we'll, sa we'll save it for now. Next is, and this one is the one that she's getting currently, just to be sure. Just to be sure, I'm almost positive this is when she's going to be getting it. It is this, there we go. Okay. Next, her passive skills are Magic Resistance A, Independent Manifestation C, and Connection to the Root A, which is an increase to Quick Arts and Bust Performance by 6%. Her third skill is an anti-foreigner attack damage aptitude. Her noble phantasm is rank EX after her strengthening, which is already out, is the Mu uh, Mukushiki Kara no Kyokai. It is the Amalavijnana. Am Amalavijnana. Amalavijnana? Mm, feel free to tell me how to do it. I never watched her series, so I don't know how to pronounce it, unfortunately. Boundary of Emptiness, though it also seems right up my alley, so maybe I should save it for Halloween or something. Rank EX, anti-unit, hits one time per hit percentage is 100%. And it's arts, it deals damage that ignores defense buffs to all enemies, removes parties' uh, debuffs, and then charges parties' MP gauge by 10%. 
The damage is 600% at level 1, and then at uh, the final level it is 900% if you get her to MP5. The chance to instant kill is 60%, and if you get her all the way to the final charge level, it is 100%. With, as always, the crazy little notes here to tell you how you can get a bunch of kills on a bunch of dudes. But there we go. And her ascensions also feature the three bunny outfits of Shiki's. So there you go. That's Saber Shiki. Um, so, currently on NA, Shiki is not very good. And she's not going to be very good for a while. When does she get good? When she gets this ability. Why? The reason is actually if there's one thing holding Shiki back. And funny enough, it is the instant kill. The reason is, if you don't know how this works, and this doesn't work, this is this is so weird to explain, but let me try and explain it the best I can, is that units with instant kill, if it triggers instant kill first, the unit dies, and therefore they're never hit, so you don't get to get MP generation off of them. Uh, that's very bad, because all arts units are based off of MP generation. As you can see here, Shiki has a single hit. She has one hit to get most of her damage in, and to be fair, she needs to get 40%. So that means she needs to get 40% from all of them, and that makes her wildly inconsistent. Um, wildly inconsistent. Because you don't know if the instant kill is going to kill an enemy, and then that's going to completely tank your ability to use the other skills. Um, it ends up being a little bit easier when this comes out, the reason is, is because on the JP version of the game, when this skill released, they had, um, when this, yeah, when this ability released, they fixed her MP, basically. That makes her much better when she has the ability to actually do some slight loops, um, to get some, some more MP, uh, gain off of the one hit that she does. It makes her much better, and she is actually able to loop now on JP. She's able to do it using... It's still very expensive, but you still need to use two Castorias, obviously Shiki herself, uh, Oberon, and then finally Summer Chloe, because Summer Chloe has an ability here that will let her give in a buff to Shiki, and this buff will make it so that when she hits the three enemies, she'll gain um, three manuscript completions. And then, using that, she'll be able to charge the um, charge everyone up by 30%, and then she re um, removes it, everything, she gives some damage, and then if you look at her second skill, she gives herself a prepare revision buff for a single time, one time, one turn, which means basically she moves to the back slot. So that means you're able to bring her in, and then do all this. And in general, Summer Chloe is a very good unit when it comes to being able to use a little bit of the weirder AOE units and let them actually be able to loop. So this is actually a unit to look forward to. She's a four star. Um, this is another reason why some people, as I mentioned in previous videos, they were saving everything for when <laughs> Summer 6 came out. Not to say that she is a specific unit, but she is one of the non-Avalon units that are in the... Um... She is one of the, the one of the Lost Belt Six units that is on these banners and is insane, absolutely good, uh, crazy good. And with that, you're actually able to use a Shiki in um, farming. And then you also have to have the Black Grail. <laughs> you need a lot. Uh, you need a lot, but it's actually possible, as opposed to currently on NA where it's not possible. So that being said, I don't think it's a very smart idea to be summoning for Saber Shiki now, unless. And this is always the thing I always say. Unless you really love Shiki and you already planned ahead. If you already planned ahead, none of these videos ever have to relate to you. I'm not here to convince you to stop <laughs> doing what you're doing. I'm just here to help any people who just don't know. Uh, that's it. And if you want to see when she's going to be featured again, she's going to be featured again. Because when that buff comes out, she's going to have a banner. And in that banner, you can go for her. And it's going to be in October 2023. So it'll be after summer, a good bit. It'll be after September. And I've looked, and there is not there is a very good unit being released on October. But for the most part, it's pretty, like... it's You're pretty good to save here and see what happens. Um, save some stuff and then try your best anyway. And yeah, that's Saber Shiki. Um... If you go summoning, I wish you the best of luck, as always. Uh, and 
I re also really wish I had Saber Shiki. After they did the buff thing, I, it's really funny because I've mentioned this usually every single time, but I was calling Saber Shiki very bad because I didn't know that when Morningstar came out, they basically fixed her NP. So, the, so I got like uh, a very <laughs> stern scolding from some very high Shiki fans. So I'm always very afraid to talk about Shiki. I want to actually experience the unit myself because I, I usually get by by the words of people. So I don't know how she currently stands on NA, but as far as I'm aware of, she has not received the buff to her, uh, the, the change to her MP that makes her really good. If she has, feel free to let me know, because it would be good to know, because I can't check that. I don't have Shiki, and I've never seen any messages from NA dudes going like, yo, they did it, and I have a big Shiki fan as a friend, Common. If, um, if they had fixed Shiki's NP, he would be the first person to be like, I am using my Shiki now, and he hasn't said anything. Um... So I can only assume it hasn't happened yet. We'll find out. But anyway, that's Shiki. Best of luck if you're summoning. Next. Ding, ding. Nero Claudius, who shares the banner with a four star, which is Ushi Wakamaru, Assassin Summer. I like Ushi as a person. Um, and I think this is some very nice art on a summer unit. But for the most part, she ends up being pretty skippable, I think. For AoE Assassin needs. I, they're, they're, they're funny enough is like there are some better options for AoE assassins. She always comes up a little bit short, but I think she's going to be getting buffs soon, so maybe it's worth another retry with her with me or something. But anyway, here's Summer Nero. Now this is a unit that I'm going to have to not look at for a while to avoid summoning on. Two, uh, one quick, two arts, two buster. Four hits on quick, six hits on arts. Two hits on buster, six hits on extra. Her first skill is Rampaging, Rampaging Privilege EX. I read... <laughs> so I recorded the long ass video before this and I forgot. I Even though I've read this before, when I read it again, it's still funny to me. Uh, shout out to those people who hate it when I laugh in videos. It's just that easy for me. Charge own MP gauge, grant self MP generation rate up, which activates if own HP is 50% or less for three turns. Uh, the MP up is 50% and the MP rate is 50% on the cooldown of six. Um, there's also a very special note with this one. So this is a buff that is applied to her, but then won't activate until she reaches below 50%. Um, which is crazy, because I feel like most of the time when something misses timing, um, to use Yu-Gi-Oh! parlance, the skill just goes away. Like, for example, if you apply a buff that says when you're near a water waterfall, gain some attack... Those go away. It's not like it changes when there's waterfall and it goes, oh man, here's some waterfall. No, for this one specifically, it will wait to see if you drop below 50%, which is really funny. Um, seven crown C, increase on attack and defense for three turns, and then ignore own defense classes advantage against all classes for three turns. Takes one X damage from them. 30% to attack, 30% on defense at a cooldown of 5. And third skill is the Undying Magus A. Grants one ally status, for, uh, grants, grants one ally gut status for one time three turns. Revives with a single HP. Increase their attack for three turns. It is 50% on that guts with a cooldown of 7. Passive skills are Writing B, Territory Creation A, and Item Construction Odd EX, which is an increase against, uh, with, um, for getting heals. Third skill is an anti-ruler attack damage aptitude, and a rank A noble phantasm is the Latum Domus Illustris, the Golden Theater, praised in song. Uh, rank A anti-army hits five times. It's Buster, ignores invincibility for one turn, activates first, deals damage to all enemies. At MP level one, it's 300% damage, and if you get her at MP five, it's 500%. Increase own MP damage for one turn. At charge level 1, it's 20%, and if you get her to the final charge level, it is 60%, and she has no special costumes because she is a summer unit, and every single one of these summer outfits is banging on, banging on greatness, pure greatness. I love Summer Nero. I have attempted to summon on Summer Nero every single time, and it has ended with failure. It has been like that since she first released. She's a very good AoE caster unit for Buster. Uh, that can also be used occasionally in some other um, challenge quest type scenarios. She has the ability here, which is ignore own defense, which is not something they give to a lot of units, and I think it eventually does reach other units, but it's crazy she had this ability by her own for so long, and it was just a Nero exclusive. Um, it's funny to see an old unit be built in such a way where it's just like, this, nah, this is just solid. Like, the... When they... I assume when they originally released her, 
they were afraid that, that because in the early days of Fago, a lot of people didn't use caster units unless they were a support unit because they didn't deal enough attack. So I think they justified that by giving her the ability to give guts to anyone and then increase their attack for three turns and then give it 50% attack. There's so much about this unit where I'm just like, why was it used? Why was it made so well? And to be fair, I think all the Nero units in this game are solid. We have a uh, regular ass Nero who will, have, even if she was, she isn't bad, um, receives constant buffs and then receives constant outfits. We got Bride Nero who is a hilarious, strong, single target <laughs> saber unit that also has an insane support kit. We have Caster Nero, um, which is Summer Nero, very good AoE unit that can also be occasionally used as a support unit in some silly cases, but for the most part you use her for kind of looping purposes, uh, hitting them and hitting them hard. And then we have Nero Draco, who is like so crazy limited that they had to invent a new version of GSSR to include her on. Um, it's nuts. It's crazy. But yeah, Summer Nero, I think she's a really good unit. Um... Good enough unit to avoid now i do say that i do like a lot about her is this unit a unit that i would say is worth summoning on even with um the summer units that are up ahead and my answer is no um the reason is is i think all the summer units coming up are better than nero one of them but it's also not a fair comparison because one of them is uh, a 50% to arts support, the other one is a 50% to quick support, and the other one is so insane, she power crap uh, some multiple versions of unit, <laughs> multiple, uh, uh, going on almost a, since Summer Musashi, a 1, 2, 3, 4, mm, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, a 4 year long streak of releasing AoE arts units and just being the end all be all end all <laughs> which is summer abuki who is ex extremely stupid strong uh, and including at mp1 so for the most part i think it's okay to skip for nero unless you are someone who is already going for her but for the most part you're gonna have to just stay strong like i i know it's tough and i'm gonna say this as someone who is gonna be actively avoiding for go as much as he can when her banner is up because I can't trust myself and I know I can't trust myself because the second I see her dumb face on the fucking banner screen I'm gonna hit some form of summon for unit and I know that's bad <laughs> that's very bad for me um does she show up again it looks like she hasn't shown up again yet on the JP side but I also think it's very likely that she will show up again on the JP side at some point like, the, the reason that there hasn't been anything for 2024 is because they haven't started an anniversary yet. And I can, I, I feel like they would probably have something related to summer close to when the summer dudes are coming out and they need to bait people to summon. Like, now! So yeah, that's Summer Nero. I really like Nero. I wish you the best of luck if you're going for her. May you have the Nero that I can never get. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta accept when you've lost. And I've lost in terms of the hunt for Summer Nero. So those are the two units. Uh, I'll be back to talk about um, uh, Mysterious Heroin X and Voyager next. But for the most part, yeah, that's it. We're gonna be. I'm. Ba we're basically chilling until the 17th. Um, as always, if you want to show support for the videos, you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff, um, which a lot of people have been doing, and I'm very thankful actually. I've been surprised about the amount of support that I've received, and I'm very thankful. It also makes me very, uh, jumpy as I, <laughs> as I try my best to make the videos as good as they can within the, the current limited skills that I have and the trying to improve and be better as, at the same time so I can show that, I, that your faith in me is worth it, I guess. I don't know. I'm saying words now. I'm just yapping. Again, best of luck. I'll see you guys in some later videos. I also have some other videos planned to go out. They're just going to take a little while to, <laughs> to come out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.